Hello, everybody! And excuse the little thing I have over here, it's to block the light in the background so I don't look all fuzzy and stuff. But, uh, welcome to another episode of Sunday Showcase! I'm WizWorld100, you're the viewers, and I'm the showcaser. And there have been no votes on this week's poll, but that's okay. I just have to go pick out a game for, to play on Sunday Showcase. And I apologize for it always being late, but it's just like, mm, not much is really happening in, uh... It, and it's just picking up the games and such. But anyways, yeah, so I'm recording this right now, and the game that we're going to be playing is Teleglitch, uh, Die More Edition on Steam that I that you could have gotten for free from Humble Bundle, and it's a pretty cool game. And I have uh, played this on a stream before, which is uh, some people, well, qu quite a few people have, saw, have seen it, so be sure to follow me on Twitch TV so that you can see more. Let's get on to the game, ladies and gentlemen. As many ninjas would say. So this is Telly Glitch. There's a bunch of other things that was supposed to pop up. But uh, this is a survival horror game. A very interesting uh, take on it. And I kind of like it. So we're going to start a new game. Ugh. Jeez. Trying to make it all the way to like certain levels. It's just... Eh. It's, it's tough. It's tough to survive. I think I just showed the whole world the, my code of the game. But let's not worry about that. We were working on a mess to teleport us to basically something on. What happened to my? Basically, something happened on the. Uh, hey, something happened on the space station and. Oh, okay, I couldn't control it. So basically, something happened on the space station. Now it's up to us to go and survive. The bad news is I forgot what the controls are. Hang on, I'll be right back. Hey, where's my gun? Oh, wait, there. Yeah, there's my gun. So yeah, this is a survival horror game set uh, where it's an overhead game. Kind of made me think of um, Nuclear Thrones, which recently I actually finally made it to the throne several times and actually beat it. Like, oh my goodness. Like, like Battletoads No Death Run is easier than trying to beat uh, Nuclear Thrones with any character. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I'm being surrounded. Run! Run for it! Run. So yeah, there's these zombie-like things that are uh, on the ship and some, and some crazed uh, crewmen and not something Newman. I, got, I don't know where I was trying to go with that. But basically, we're just trying to survive with a goal, of course. It's not like, uh, it's not like, say, Unturned, where it's just like, oh, the whole goal is to survive against this uh, zombie apocalypse in Canada, which is one of the more interesting things, but even then, it didn't really keep my, keep my interest, interest in it for too long, especially since eventually I got kind of a Bored with it being that there's no objective. So throughout the entire game, you find these fi you find uh, files and stuff. Or the goal is to find the teleporter, which is that is not where we're supposed to go. It is to find the uh, teleporter to get out of this uh, space station and get back to Earth. Now, along the way, there are computers that have files that will tell you what has been happening on the ship and what's been going on, and you know, typical, typical sci-fi. Uh, Horror, horror standards, and here. Oh yeah, see, there's there's one of those computers over here, but uh, you can't tell. Oh, for those of you who have never played it, you would have never known it. Oh, jeez, how do I play this? Oh, it's just clicking. Yeah, when you play this game, you you should pl you should definitely play the tutorial so that you can get the hang of it. Because I was a lot better when I was uh, playing it playing it before on stream and just uh, knowing what the controls and how everything works a lot better. So where have I... I have not been in this room. It's very good to check your map for stuff. And I'm trying to... Oh, here's the teleporter scene, or, or location. I'm gonna go around and find some items. The scavenge... Oh. Ah! Son of a bitch. I didn't mean to throw that. Oh well, I had an extra one. So that lightened the load on the uh, space. Uh oh, there's a guy over there. Quick shot there. I thought he would. I, I thought he died, but he didn't. You don't automatically pick up items, which is kind of a little annoying. And you can combine stuff if you press the C button. So right now I can combine a nail bomb or a bigger bomb, but I'm not gonna do either because I know that they're not that good. And you might you might see me looking around some corners because there are secrets in this game. That you have to pay attention to. Yeah, I knew it. Whenever you're in like a force-like area, you just always have enemies and zombies around. Oh, there's also this dark um, tele glitch goo, 
right here, you see how like the, the darkness is kind of going in and out of color, like it's a bad rotoscope or something? That's... that thing will instantly kill you because that's a tele glitch. Or, presumably. Actually, yes it is, because at the end of the each level it tells you like, uh, what you've done, statistics in the game. And one of the things you can do is lure these guys, or anybody, into the uh, tele glitch uh, anomaly. That's what it is, an anomaly. Oh, that could have been a lot nicer. Oh, that was much... Well, that finished the job, it wasn't much better. I would have liked to have gotten all of them in one go. And I'm running out of ammo. This is not good. Speak of uh, the goodness, there is ammo. Oh, and more ammo. Excellent. You want to save ammo. But you also don't want to melee things you can just punch. Which I tried doing. Actually, you stab things. You don't, you don't punch them, but... You, you punch stab them? Alright. Oh, wait a minute. There's one particular spot. There's one particular spot on the map that looks a little weird. And I think it's the secret area. No, we're not there yet. Always good to keep track of the map. It seems to be hinting at this area. Oh, it was a secret. A nail bomb. That's... That's it. Yeah. The secrets in the early levels are obviously not that good, but hey, a free item is a free item. Teleporter there, and what was over here? Oh yeah, this game also randomizes, which uh, I very, very much appreciate. Hey, shotgun. Uh, grenade launcher. I don't know why it looks like the word agility. I thought it was... It's actually an adhesive grenade launcher where it actually sticks to the... Sticks to, uh, enemies. Or anything you'd like to shoot at, so... I, I thought it was like a grenade like I thought it was this type of grenade where it's just like creates a little sticky sticky goo on the floor that uh keeps them from uh, running around I forget what what those are called but that was what I was thinking but no it's actually just a grenade launcher hmm there's here oh I also really really like the shadowy design here where it's like uh, if something's blocking your way you won't be able to see it so you don't have um, all entire 360 view. Although that kind of begs the question: Do I have eyes behind my head? Oh well, whatever. This is a game, video game after all. Let's not question it too much. And also like how the graphics are are very very simple, but it's your imagination that makes it more epic. What the? I missed something over here. Oh, the tree was blocking. No way was I gonna see it. Oh. That's a tele glitch anomaly. Phenomena. Do 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 do. Phenomena. Do 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 do. And that's about all I know. Now, of course, uh, you don't want to punch things, as I've said earlier. You do want to use your ammo. I mean, you do want to save your ammo, but you should use your gun instead of your uh, a knife, because when you're using, because when you, it's it's very easy to die. Very very easy to die, from what I remember. To the right is the plantation, and left to the military. Wait. So the right side is here, and the left side is there. Let's go here just for a little change of pace. I've always kept going to the plantation area, which I've made it to very far. That's how I unlocked the, the other area. Uh, the situation is not much worse. Or it's getting worse. Oh yes, and this is also a roguelike game, much like a Nuclear Thrones, where if you die once, you have to play the game... Well, almost all over again. This game is nice enough that if you made it far enough in the game, you can actually just start on that part of the game. However, you won't have the items that you would most likely want with you as it's uh, preset. But hey, it's either that or play it all over again. So pick a side. Uh, shotgun! Shotgun! I guess the camera, or the view twists and turns and kind of adjusts, and it adjusts to like a... Your orientation, which I think is kind of cool. Oh, jeez, is he dead? Oh, yes, files. Yeah, if you've never read, or if like if you've never read a file in the game, it will uh, let you know which files you have not written. Oh, I never saw that before. He blew up. He he. Oh wow. Chunk. Hmm. Chunky. Ooh, nasty. I have never actually seen someone or. I've never actually seen any of the enemies violently blow up like that. Like, not even from the explosion. Okay, now it seems like I'm just I'm just making it sound a lot more epic than it is. Oh, 
hardware. You want this because then you can upgrade your weapons. Uh, I was looking online on like uh, what the upgrade paths were and yes I spoiled it for myself because uh, eventually it, it, apparently the game gets ridiculously difficult later on obviously but even then oh there's a secret you can tell there's a secret because you can kind of see past that I'm gonna use a grenade launcher they say not to use a grenade launcher but I say no come on blow up one more not a very effective grenade launcher I gotta say so what goodies are in here there are no goodies in here, just... Oh, anyways, they recommend you use a pistol to uh, to shoot... to shoot out stuff. Oh, are you serious? What's this? Ah, medkits. Excellent. And is this just a shortcut, or is it... Oh, it's walled off completely. I would have expected some resistance. Oh yeah, some of these secrets apparently might have enemies in them, so... Be very careful. Okay, check the map. Huh, seems like I only have one place I can go, which is in that, where where the red door is. Very helpful, very helpful. How many of you would realistically, like, go out of your way to get supplies? Like, for the just-in-case moment. Oh, yes, your gun also shoots from your, uh... Oh, shit, you gotta, re you gotta reload your guns, and you also shoot from your right-hand side, so... You have to keep that in mind. Uh, nothing gonna kill me here? Ammo, bombs, and nails, which are for the nail gun, which is uh, probably not that good. <laughs> Dark and spooky. There's not much. There, there, there's only ambience and there's only sound effects in this game, which is kind of cool. It's kind of more horrific that way, and I like it. Almost. Uh, well, I can't say it's like Dead Space or anything like that. It's just what every sci-fi horror is: flickering lights and all that good stuff. What's in here? Oh, enemies. Oh, he took two shots. Shot him too far off. Oh, oh. Mama Bear there took it a lot harder. Oh, another file. Military file. Kill ethnically. Racist? Is that what, is that what, is that what it's trying to tell me? Racist? Aw, oh, shit! Oh, yes, there's the occasional, uh, they make a sound. Or some growling noise. You know, I was using some ammo for my pistol, so time to use my automatic pistol. You could turn it into an SMG if you have some more hardware and some more uh, equipment, but it would appear to be a waste of extra stuff. Oh, a plate for armor. Oh, don't make the grenade launcher three, because that's a waste of stuff. It basically just shoots three grenades in a in a triangular uh, shot, which is not very good usage of keeping your ammo. Oh, right, there's a machine gun in this game. I forgot about that. Mainly because other survival horror. I've been too much, I've, er, I've been too much. I've been playing too much, uh, Nuclear Thrones lately, which is also what's kind of stopping the videos, because I've been trying to get to the Nuclear Thrones, and like I said, I finally made it to the throne room and killed the throne. You wouldn't believe the, uh, how, what the annoyance with that is. And the thing that sucks is I didn't even get to save a screenshot of me beating that, so there's no way you would ever believe me. Note to anybody who's interested, you probably did. Hmm, someone had a boring life. Well, not really. If you want to see plants grow, then be my guest. Is there something? Oh, I can't tell you how many times I've ran into the void. I'm pretty sure that's, a, that's the tele glitch alarm anomaly, because it's like, you know, the, tele the teleportation uh, didn't go so well, so... That's why you see them everywhere. Uh-oh. She just runs around like, Oh, my god, get it off me, get it off me! Ay, he takes a... He takes a beating. Put you out of your misery. It, it is a little... Uh, it does hold you... Not hold you back, but it was like... It was like, you, you gotta like take a step back, like, Whoa, he's still alive? God damn! Shoot him again. Teleporter technology. Yeah, basically, uh, in that teleporter room, you split into two paths, and one of them is easier than the other, but you'll eventually end up in roughly the same point. I haven't gotten that far to actually say that, so don't quote me. What else am I missing? Well, there's this little... Oh, there's that at that area. What's in here? Anybody? Tiny bubbles. That, that, had, no, that had no relevance to anything. There were no bubbles. Unless you're named uh, Bubbles. Now, what's over here? What's behind door number two? Ah! That's what! 
It didn't scare me, but it was just like, you know, I was I was expecting something. Just, hmm, was hoping not to. This, this game isn't scary in a sense, but it does have an atmosphere to it, which is, uh, you know, it's the idea that really counts. Or that's what I... Well, we can only go here. And that's kind of where I'm going to end the video on. To go through the facility support system, I don't die because of a, a random life support portal failure. I want to check on the manual. So I'm going to save that and play it on my own time and maybe on the stream. So that was Telly Glitched, the Die More Edition. What did you guys think of it? I think it's actually a pretty cool game, and I did get it for free from Humble Bundle, so thanks to them for giving that game away for free. This game is definitely worth checking out, and uh, I do want to say that I would want to pay for it, but it's like you die so easily in this game if you're just like, if you make a slight mistake, and I, and I really, really hate, hate it when that happens, but hey, that's the consequences of making even one slight mistake that you would get killed from it. So, I hope you guys will go to my site, LazyWorksCreations.com, to vote on the next game to play on, like, some other consoles, like, the ones I own, and check out my videos, subscribe, like, comment, and, you know, what did you guys think of, uh, Teleglitch yeah, Die More Edition? Uh, so until then... I'm Wizworld100, you're the viewers, and I'm the showcaser. See ya!